Hello there everybody and welcome to the channel. Now today we are gonna have a first look into a game called New Home Medieval Village. It is a game that is currently not available on Steam just yet, but it is scheduled to launch on the 14th of January next year, so just another three, three weeks or so before it's available for everyone. Now the developer of this game has reached out to us and offered a key so we could take a first look into, into the game. And the way he described this game is he drew inspiration from City Skylands when it comes to zoning different different levels of residential and commercial zones, but also, also industrial. And the art style is mostly inspired by Banished. So when I heard that it's a mixture of those two games, then I, I was very keen to give this a try. So without further, further ado, let's uh, start a new game. I've already got a couple of test runs in here it's pretty straightforward we can set the difficulty it has an easy medium and hard the starting season so we'll leave it on spring and there's three maps in here so let's go with the medium sized map and uh, yeah there's not much more to it so let's uh oh we gotta name this as well of course absolutely uh let's call it baby dragon here we go all right, so as typically in most games, we'll pause it uh, straight away. We'll have a look at the minimap. So we are situated just by this uh, bit of a lake or could be even uh, could be even see who knows. We're in this bay essentially. And the way this game works, we've got a few dabs at the at the bottom. Uh, we've got the population overview. We've got the economy, our resources and then a few overlays as well, just like in City Skylands. But until we get some houses, we, we can't really uh, it's not as useful for us so the first thing we need to build is the dock and the dock allows uh, ships to visit our village and they also be, uh, bring villagers here so let's try and set it i guess uh, let's have a look uh, maybe maybe somewhere uh, somewhere around here is fine and what we'll also have to do is we'll have to connect it with the roads and um for this start is I think we'll just make a straight road over there then the next thing we'll need is a hostel so hostel is essentially a building where all the travelers first start out until we have houses so if we resume this simulation then we should have some ships coming coming to us soon now the art style of the game I I really like it it's it's uh, nice and peaceful and um, these houses look super cute as well. Um, so, right, let's have a look what else we have. We've got the zoning mode here. So we have the poor houses, average, decent and wealthy. And same for the commercial. And right now the agriculture only has one option, but um, it is still in development. So um, that, is, that, is, that is fine. Right, here's our first ship just about to arrive. And uh, what I really like about these roads is we can also if you press alt we can have this little circle and uh, that helps us plan out how much space do we need for the roads right now we are gonna let's see um, let's buy everything because we have no resources so we're gonna buy some we also have to keep in mind how much money uh, cash we have so we have another 14,000 left eight people have joined us and now we can see the demand for different zones has gone up. So we are going to place a few houses. Let's do another commercial as well. And they'd also like some farmlands. But before we plop the farm down, let's just do another road about here to run parallel with the, with the other one, like so. Now, they also need water. So I think we... Where shall we place this? Somewhere in the middle here will be will be fine. Right, and now to the farm. Let's zoom a little bit closer. Oh, let's uh, bring up the farm once again. And we'll run it from here. Right next to the road. And then, you know what? Let's, let's do something smaller like so. When you click on the farm, we've got three options here. We can do uh, grains, vegetables, or spices. So we'll start with the grain first and we'll zoom out a little bit and straight away all those villagers that are currently living in the hostel they have started building different different houses for themselves uh, right so i think in here what i'd like to do let's bring a few roads 
down. What is also really lovely is when you hold down shift, so we put this road, let's see here, then we can curve the roads around. So that's uh, that's going to be very, very pleasant. In general, I'm not a huge fan of grids, but in this game, at this stage at least, once we get to um, unlock some of the other buildings, and it's very similar to, again, City Skylines, it does have a range of operations or, or influence, let's say. Uh, so the grids are actually the easiest way to go, at least at the start of start of the game. So right, we've got a few houses in place already. Now these ships will come quite often actually. They, they'll come and visit us, bring some more settlers in. And um, we have actually the power, if I can find the right window. Oh, this one here. Uh, right now it seems the uh, attraction... We are only getting poor villagers, but over time, once we have more different services, we'll also start attracting um, average villagers, decent and maybe even wealthy ones when we have the top level uh, services down. But for the time being, we're only getting some peasants that are uh, very happy to join. They don't really care too much about different uh, facilities, so that's how we're going to go about it. Right, it also does have taxes included as well, and right now we are losing a lot of money. So what we can do is we can increase the taxes for a couple of these. Let's do the same for farming as well. Let's bring it up a little bit, and hopefully we'll start making a bit of money very soon. Let's see what else we can build. Uh, we put everything in. We need the level 2 for the library. So I guess for the time being, let's just increase the, the housing that is available, because more housing, more people, that's going to mean more more money to us as well right another ship has arrived so let's uh let's check our resources i think everything is pretty good they also have the quality so the higher quality items we have the better the villagers hopefully we are gonna have in the future so how about we buy those average drinks from here uh, now we can bump this up a little bit so that's uh that's very very good let's check the ranges so if we bring this menu up here's our water influence area uh, and none of the other ones we we don't have these services so we're still gonna have to wait a little bit let's check the economy once again daily profits are still very low um yeah but um let's see we don't really need to build anything so how about we just speed up the time and wait for for some more people now in my tests as well what i did notice is it's a little bit smarter to expand slowly i think on my very first run we ran out of money pretty much straight away when i was trying to get used to the uh, used to the game in different settings but slow and steady definitely wins the race in this one and it seems this building is not covered by any water at all right another ship has arrived let's see what do you have got some vegetables we have some in here but fruits i think that's something we'll buy and yeah that should be fine we'll try and aim for the average quality in most of them right so we are starting to make a bit of more money could use another commercial building and you know how about we place you just over there a couple more four houses would be preferred as well so let's try and maybe slot a couple couple here so we bring the road i think we'll do the same just keep on keep on going through maybe just up there and what we can do is now let's do another farm actually let's uh, extend the road just a tiny bit through here like so and we'll do another farm and maybe start having some some fruits or let's see what were the what were the other options again uh, vegetables yep let's do some vegetables we don't have those yet and we'll soon a couple more buildings uh, we'll probably need another well so let's uh, see the range is something like so but we're gonna need another one somewhere down there so how about we just situate you on the corner and now we can put a few more houses there there and one more 
if we can move just over there. All right, and now we can speed up the time. The demand should be going down as soon as they construct those buildings. And now we can check our wealth again, minus 20. But as soon as we get those buildings done, let's take another quick look. And not just yet. Well, oh, minus seven. Here we go. Now, another really cool feature that I like about this game is when with the houses, we actually have the ability to edit buildings. So if we go into this menu here, so this is something that in a game like City Skylands, for example, you would need mods. Um, but in, in, in this game, we actually have the ability to start expanding or redesigning some of those houses and we get the full control over over different different sections we could uh, let's see if we delete this section now we'll take you out we can take this wall uh, let's say we don't we didn't really like that one now let's take a look if that is where we want it to be uh not quite maybe oh let's select it again we'll bring it in a little bit and that way and maybe even even up you know what let's resize it so we've got a few more options we can change the environment, the sun, let's maybe put it like so, the sun intensity, yep, and then we can change the weather as well, or rainy, snowy, let's leave it on sunny for now. Right, and then what we'd like to do, let's try and stretch this a little bit, okay, maybe about there should be good, and once we're happy with this, we can just save it and get back to the game. Right, so if we zoom in, now we can see all these buildings actually look the same. We've, um, I can't zoom any closer, unfortunately. Uh, this is as far as we can go out, and this is as close as we get, get in. But um, uh, we can see that on that corner, we now have a different different wall in place. So that's really cool. And uh, yeah, if, if, if you like to customize buildings and make your uh, village look unique, this is definitely very uh, very welcomed feature indeed right we've got another ship in here let's just pause the game real quick and see what are they bringing us so we've got some more meat in here we'll definitely dig that grain and vegetables i don't think we're gonna need to buy because we are producing them locally now okay and the rest is a poor quality so i think we are gonna wait for the next uh, ship instead right uh, if we would like to have more people arrive to our village we could also build another hostel we don't need to have just one we can have as many as we as we want and same with the sorry the docks actually once we build another dock how much was it thousand five hundred but the upkeep is quite expensive we could build another dock here and have more ships arrive at a time but um, we would need a few hostels to make sure that everyone has a place to stay at uh, for the time being, it seems that demand is pretty balanced out. Everyone's got got a place to live and work at. And we've got some food coming in as well. If we have a quick look in here, then yeah, capacity is six and we've got six employees in here. Right, when we go into the villagers, they all have overall happiness, health, education and safety. So health, for example, we can build, uh, let's have a look, we can build a clinic. And then later on, we got a larger clinic as well, just to improve their health. When it comes to education, we got the option for the library. We also have the school and uh, high school. And then the last option in here, the safety. For that, we have the fire station and the police station. Actually, the fire station is more to deal with fires in the village. And the police station will take care of their safety needs. Right, another ship here. Let's see what they offer us. Uh, unfortunately, not the clothing we wanted. So let's just uh, leave it at that. Demand has gone up a little bit. So we can place a few more houses. Let's do a couple more in here. And what I actually noticed as well, let's check our finance. Okay, we are in the green finally, which is really, really lovely. I think it will be in time. Oh, it's going to be out of range. Do you know what? We'll do it on this side. Let's do another farm. If we try and line it up, maybe here is fine. We'll do another farm and we will start growing. Let's see. Somewhere here is fine. And uh, we'll do spices. 
I am assuming, I'm not 100% sure, but sp spices should bring up their uh, happiness. I think at least. Now when we uh, speed up the time once again, we'll get through the night time. Sun is hopefully coming up soon. Now the morning has dawned on us. And let's have a look what sort of resources. Everything is poor quality. Ooh, we're <laughs> going to need those clothes very soon because we are pretty low on them right more houses are needed let's plop a few more down here and one more and another one beautiful and for commercial we shall do the same just over here and just like in city skylines at the start it doesn't really matter too much where you place buildings um We'll have the residential and, and on the side here, just by the by the by the sea or by the bay, so they can have some nicer views. And then we'll have the commercial in the middle. Farms are at the furthest side here, but it's uh, unlike city skylines right now. There's there's no pollution or anything that affects the uh, villagers or gives them gives them negative uh, mood. But for us, um, we can move things around later. I know. Even when playing City Skylands, it's quite painful to demolish uh, all your beautiful uh, buildings. But that is something that we'll definitely have to do once we start building uh, some some of the bigger things. So if we take a look at our income, we have 130 uh, surplus right now, which means we could start, I think, oh, now that's a tough one. I think we'll do the fire station first. I am just a little bit afraid that if we get any fires, then we're going to be in trouble, but we'll leave it for a bit. I uh, will build a couple more things, and once we have a bit more money in the bank, then we can uh, get some better buildings in, in as well. All right, and now that we have a bit more money in the bank as well, I think it's a pretty good time to start offering education to our our villagers so what we'll do is we'll uh, just designate a couple more houses and we'll also let's uh, curve this road oh let's see if we can no there isn't a lot of space here so let's try and do this again if we go from here we're gonna try and turn go through there just nicely along the coastline over there and as we said we'll do a couple more houses it's interesting we can actually place them in the water here as well so the uh, hopefully the houses won't get flooded but they'll they'll, they'll be uh, raised uh, a little bit higher now when it comes to the library we would like it to be somewhere a somewhat centralized location so we'll have to oh well that's a little awkward let's take a quick look what's happening here so we'll delete this zoning I guess that's a bit of a bug, but let's uh, let's see what happens once we stick this library in here. Uh, we still have those roofs, okay? So that's okay. It's an early access game, so things might happen. But uh, we do have this library now, and we can also see the influence area. Oh no! One of our buildings is on fire. So what we'll do is we'll grab a fire station and yep somewhere here is good and we've got our first fire rescue service team on the scene putting out those fires and yeah beautiful so now that's covered when we check on the people we should see that some of them are starting to get the education effect and they also have the fire station effect as well so that's uh, fantastic now with the fire station it is going to have buildings in its influence range, but even if they're out, they will still uh, send out teams to put out fires, even if they're outside the influence area. So don't have to, fortunately, worry too much about that. But uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much most things in this game. So what I'll do is let's load one of all my bigger villages in here. And you know what? We'll um, save it first. Save it. Let's jump into, into the bigger one real quick. So here's a colony I played with um, in my last test run. 
and in this one if we take a quick look our a quick look our attraction is already up on 43 and now we're also getting some average and decent villagers and that also means we are getting quite a quite a high uh, high profit margins over there um we do have some let's see a fire station there we got a couple of police stations just to ensure that the crime level is low a few houses again in the water here but it seems the foundation actually keeps it uh, off the off the water level so that's a uh, nice and very very good if we check the other ones out let's see health uh, that's pretty high in some of those buildings here as well a few of them are out of range but that's okay and then water yeah we got quite a few quite a few wells scattered around our our city and i think if we check their well-being overall happiness uh, health is a little bit lower yeah the stats aren't looking too good but we definitely have some some infrastructure in place to to make them make them higher but essentially yeah it's uh that's uh, as far as it goes with the content itself uh, i think i've constructed all those buildings and we also can put some more trees in down as well just to make it look a bit more unique but uh, it is uh, once again it is a early access game that will be launched very soon on the 14th of january and it has been one developer uh, building this game and uh, if I remember correctly he said it's been taking him uh, about eight months so it's definitely playable but I'd uh, be very keen to see how this game goes in the future and what sort of content they'll, they'll add uh, or he will add in in this game as well because it does uh, look like a very very promising game so yeah let us know what you think about this game i'll put the link in the description as well if you would like to wish list it and uh, thank you very much for watching so far and uh, hope to see you in the in the next video